Hey y'all, I hope you're ready to get dragged because I'm Anna Rumor with Pop Culture. And I'm Nick Valdez from comicbook.com. And this is Dragged, where we offer our unfiltered opinions about drag race because this is not RuPaul's best friend race. It's not anymore. <laughs> not go, anymore. Go, go. The stakes are really getting higher. I I was concerned, right? Like heading into a third dance challenge, I was like, oh, maybe this is, you know, all we're gonna see. But clearly I don't know anything. That's why I'm not the professional here. You know? <laughs> exactly. I mean, we're going in, it's episode three of RuPaul's Secret Celebrity Drag Race and we're dancing again. We're putting our money where our mouth is, which I was like, I don't really quite know what that theme means, but the episode was a ton of fun. So why did I even doubt? Money apparently means spice. Let's make it spicy. <laughs> uh, apparently oh. I'm bland, honey. <laughs> Poppy Love, uh, once again, exploding onto the scene. Uh, yeah. Dolly Parton's nine to five, right? Oh. Uh, I mean, obviously epic choice, Queen yeah. Dolly. <laughs> Absolutely, and like, I love the theatrics of it, but now, now this competition's getting tough. They're starting to find the flaws in Poppy Love, something I didn't see. I was like, you know what? This is why I don't get paid the big bucks. That <laughs> <laughs> I feel like honestly, they had to say something because she's won two weeks in a row. They had to find something to kind of justify her not taking home another win because it was really funny. It was really good. She had a little reveal. The dancing was there. I mean, yes. AJ, you're doing a great job, honey. Allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's hard to deny that now, you know, especially yeah. three weeks in, we've started to see more and more, and it's uh, the the stories that we're hearing from, from AJ, I, I'm like, oh, I don't want to say the name, but just in case, it's looking <laughs> like it, so. <laughs> we're gonna look like idiots if it's not him, but I, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Millie Vaughn Sunshine, who yes. like, once again, face queen. Like, I'm like, oh, oh, okay, it's so unique with the avocado mask look and- The I'm bedazzled just... face mask. I love yes. that. That's what I look like when I hang out at my house. I'm just saying. I could say the same, but no, you know, secrets <laughs> between us, right? Of course, of course, of course. Is, no one's watching this anyways, right? It's just us talking to each other. No cameras. Right, right. <laughs> Unfortunately, she did have some trouble with the reveal. Her robe kind of got stuck. And you, you can tell that deflated her towards the end. And that's unfortunate because I was having a good time. I it was. was so tough because she really wanted to lean into sexy. She would have done better if she would have leaned 100% to sexy. I feel like she leaned about 70% in, but was still relying on that comedy that she's got. And right. I think she would have just done a little bit better if she had let go of that goofy side. Maybe the reveal gaff wouldn't have seemed such a big deal if she had really va va voomed her way through the rest of the performance. I mean, because what Work From Home is a very sexy song. She definitely could have done it. It's interesting to see how she's developing too into the, the like, she's getting into more of the, the theatrics of it mm -hmm. when it's clear that she would do a, a lot better when it comes to just paring it down and tapping into a very particular vibe. Chick Le Fay, once again, the spicy chicken sandwich. Yeah. Really? <laughs> the spicy chicken sandwich of season two. <laughs> yes, we better have her money, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, someone better have her money because man, that Girl Scout theme, so funny. So yes. funny and also yes. hot. I was completely into it. I was into the, the, it's the theatrics, it's comedy. Like, like I said, I'm wanting full package and that is full package. She absolutely delivered it made a lot of sense that she ended up being one of the winners and now she's she's starting to really get into it so i think that's the thing i can't wait to see what's next i i i think that's what's most exciting about it right like i just yeah i, I want to see her blossom even more get more comfortable and get more with it yeah i agree she also was having a little bit of like crisis of confidence when it comes mm -hmm. to leaning into the sexy but i felt like she found a better balance than Millie did. The Girl Scout is funny in and of itself, but then she leaned in more with the choreo and with the general attitude, and I, I think that was a much better balance. I, it's just pigtails. I, I don't know what it yeah. is, right? It's pigtail yeah. choreo that really yes. just amps it up, right? <laughs> it's always <Maybe>. funny. <laughs> Jackie Wood, she's the queen of props. <laughs> yeah. once, once again, and there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with being a prop queen. And you know, she clearly has the attitude, she's feeling it, but it 
it's it's tough, you know, especially it's when the competition's tough. so tough, right? Right, and taking on such an iconic Britney song, Work You Know, uh, mm -hmm. you really have to 100% bring it. That song is iconic. Every drag queen uh, has performed to that song. So everyone's got their ideas of what it should look like. And if you're not gonna bring 100% or exactly what people are looking for, it's just gonna come up lacking. It has a high bar of energy to meet. And unfortunately, Jackie could not. And they're, they're like, that's why she ends up in the bottom <laughs> too, you know? I know, so. I know. And it's so tough too, because those are fast words and Jackie's strength is not lip syncing. And it's yes. also not really dancing either. <laughs> so the dancing and the lip syncing coming together for the third week in a row, it was it was tough. It was tough, yeah. It made sense, her placement in the end. Donna Bellissima, I never thought I'd say this. How but dare they? <laughs> how, I was I was upset. Like, I, that was a personal attack on me. I yes, was like, how I dare you? <laughs> I, first of all, I didn't think she did that badly. I mean, no, uh, no. Kim Petras, number one, I Don't Want It At All. That's a great song, perfect choice. Yes, yes. I loved her gold lame dress. The prop use was funny, her sugar daddy, that dancer had me cracking up. Although, I mean, maybe it's a bad sign that I was really focused on that dancer instead of 100% on her. And that's what the critique was. And yeah. uh, like, once again, I don't get paid the big bucks for that. So once they <laughs> pointed it out, I was like, oh, you're right. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, yeah, I was so wrapped up in my Donna Bellissima love. Like, <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't see the flaws, but Unfortunately, that is why she ended up in the bottom two, especially when the competition's so tough now. Like, it's it's yes. really tough. There's Sivan Trapp, who's oh. also really coming into her own. Oh my right at this gosh. Time. Seven Rings, Ariana Grande. This performance was. I, I would have paid money to see this in a club. This yes. was really good. Yes, that Marilyn look. Oh, oh my oh, God. Yes. Oh. <laughs> she looked amazing. I mean, you could see the judges gag when she walked out and mm -hmm. she just looked, I think the best of anyone that we've seen on the show so far. That's a bold claim, I would, but I, I think that's true. I honestly would agree. It's like, it's the entire thing came together for her. It's yeah. almost as if, if it clicked all of mm -hmm. a sudden. And this is, you know, I'm, I'm surprised that she wasn't like the winner, but it's also yeah. a very tough week. Like that's the other thing. It's just, a really, it's getting fierce. <laughs> it is really getting fierce. I mean, she was just perfect Marilyn and the vibe was there. She looked great. The only thing that I was like, that's why she's not at the end is, is you know, I could have just used a little bit more energy in the face, a little more face there. Right, and I, I feel like it's starting to get there. I, I, oh, once yeah. she got, what she get a hand of the choreography and everything started to click, the personality, the vibes, yes. then, then the energy will come, right? Chakra seven, oh. she, she just oh. found like chakra <laughs> eight through 10 over yes. here, wow. Like, <laughs> I was laughing that... <laughs> so hard. Her intro package, <clears throat> it's Tatiana Ali, uh, was talking about how this was going to be dedicated to mothers out there. And yes. I was really expecting this emotional ballad and it's MILF Money by Fergie. Yes. Right off the bat, that yes. is so funny. So funny. Yes. What a what a fun swerve and like the the performance too like when when they led her to the chair and yes. it looked like I was like oh is she, is she like are they gonna go through with the full birth yeah <laughs> I was like what a reveal I, I don't know how she's gonna be able to pull that off on on cable television but I I was in I was completely sold it made a lot of sense that she was also one of the winners this week uh, oh, it yeah. was what an explosion like a. This is this is the chakra we're gonna see, and I guess that's the name of the game this week. Everyone, yes. like the 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 top the top of the heap, are really getting into their own. They're really finding their groove, and they're exploding from here on out. Yeah, and uh, that's going to be very interesting to see, right? Yeah. Well, and the funny thing about Chakra's performance is, I'm sorry, Chakra. I had her kind of tapped as the next out because we had seen a very two-dimensional side of her, you know, this beautiful, yes. soft, and kind of 
I don't know, statuesque diva version of her. And it was great, but it can only get you so far, especially on a show like this where you're singing and dancing week after week. But yes. she has got a whole other side to her that is so funny and fierce, and I'm obsessed. I'm a stan. I went from bottom of the heap to, like, absolute stan. So, wow. Yeah, that's the kind of week it's been. It's been very yes. eye-opening. We're realizing things, to quote Kylie Jenner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the bottom two of... Uh, yeah, of Jackie Wood and Donna Bellissima. One surprise mm. and, and one not so surprising. Yeah, I was very surprised by Donna and that's my Donna covered glasses uh, that I just don't want her to be in the bottom. Jackie was, Jackie would be in the bottom. Jackie could be in the bottom. Jackie has been in the bottom and, and she continues <laughs> to be. So unfortunately it was time for them to lip sync for their life. What did you think of the lip sync performances? I, you know, I, Donna Bellissima, of course, I have, oh, to yeah, support yeah. My, I have to support my choice, but it was also clear that she was feeling it in that moment. Like, it yes. was, the preparation was there. You know, when RuPaul always says, I, I gave you time to prepare, you know, I asked you to prepare this lip sync. It, with Donna, it really looked like she was actually prepared, you know? Yes. <laughs> and for Jackie, it did appear like this was the first time she had ever heard the song. And, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Jackie. The words, she, I, yeah, I mean, I don't think at this point she thought that anything was uh, going on for her. So I felt like she was just throwing it out there. She wasn't lip syncing. She didn't care that much. And, you know, what yeah. are you going to do? Yeah. And that's, a, you know, and that's what happens a lot of the time in these lip syncs. One, yeah. One, one contestant is clearly ready. <laughs> yes. And the other one looks at them and says, well, they're ready. I'm not. What am I going to do for the next three and a half minutes? Absolutely. Maybe do some like windmills around the stage. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and that is why at the end of the day, Jackie Wood, sachet away. Or more like reveal yourself to be Tom Felicia from Queer Eye. Like we called it because we are geniuses. <laughs> and it's not that no, hard I to guess. I will give you full credit for that. I, you know, I'm not going to sit here and pretend like I was, I also picked it from day one. Did not. So. <laughs> hey, I, so I, I picked catch. it from day two. I, you know, I put uh, my <laughs> shoes on one, day, one at a time like everyone else. <laughs> Great catch there. It was, it, it, it makes, it makes a lot of sense once everything clicks and it's like, oh, okay, now I can see your face. Yes. Now, now I can put the face to the body and okay, yeah. okay. But, uh, I'm, I'm, it's it was time it was time it was time i mean tom had a ton of fun which is awesome and and you know I'm, i was glad that he was on the show but jackie just wasn't progressing at the same rate that everyone else was and it's celebrity drag race so whatever i don't think these people are like heartbroken at the end of the day when they don't make it no. to the finals no, Jackie Wood, I'm pretty sure that getting three weeks into the competition is a big deal. And it is. Yes. It's huge. Oh my gosh, so, yeah. Congratulations. And either way, congratulations. Even with our queen going home, I am feeling really optimistic about what is to come because the people who are left are really fierce and they're really coming into their own. The show is just ramping up from here on out. We're getting more backstage reactions. We're get, I love seeing more yes. of that inner thought process after yes. performing. Like, mm -hmm. give us more of that. Give us more time with each queen. And I can't, I can't wait to see what's next. Like, it clearly, I we were surprised by this third week. So let's see what else they have. Let's see yeah. what they got. You know, the first episode, I was like, oh, we're not getting very much time with everyone. I don't really know who I like the most, but now we're getting to see more of their personalities and, and getting to see them interact with each other, which also had me wondering if they can recognize each other backstage and are kind of playing coy there. Oh, pretty sure. Yeah. Pretty sure. <laughs> They're very close to one another. I don't think makeup yeah. can really hide it that much. No way. Unless they just don't know who each other is. And and that would also be possible because they come from different kind of realms of, of celebrity. Yeah, it'd be it'd be pretty funny. I would love insight into that someday. I know. Like, is Tom Felicia uh, a gleek or something? He would be uh, missing out, if not. Uh, hopefully, nobody misses out on the rest of the season. I can't wait to see what's next. Can't wait to talk about it with you. And if you at home are enjoying watching us talk about Secret Celebrity Drag Race, tune in every week. We are chatting, we're squirping and a chirping. So don't miss <laughs> it on Dragged.